City hosting Saturday Night Live. You know, I've been in over a dozen films, but I think people probably know me best for my role in the three Star Wars movies. <laughs> okay, so then how do you get the part in this film? So then I went, you know, my first audition, and they What'd said... What'd they have you do at the audition? Um, well, I just walked in, I went to the bathroom, and I came out. <laughs> It's the strangest like audition I've ever heard of no, in my entire life. I had life. to go to the bathroom. I had to go to the bathroom. Oh, I see. Oh. In a fit of postpartum hunger, I ate an entire Carvel ice cream cake, mm. ate an entire box of pasta. Mm. I, <laughs> I ate a whole box of donuts. Mm. I've done all of these things, you guys. What is it? I ordered 10 cartons of vegan ice cream. That also oh. happened. Okay. Moving on, now we all know I'm a pig. Yeah, you have a question? Uh, yes. Uh, funny you mentioned Star Wars. Uh, I, I have an episode two specific question. Yeah, go ahead. So I went to the bathroom, and um, when when I came out, they're like, you're, you're too young, go home. So Beat I just it, yeah. went home without reading or anything. Were you, were you uh, depressed about that? Were you saddened? No. Not really, no. Yeah. No big deal. You got to use the bathroom? What do you care? <laughs> Honestly, supposed to believe that Jago Fett willingly worked hand in hand with Sipho Diaz in the Galactic Senate to build a clone army on the planet of Camino? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I get this all the time. You know, certain kinds of people think that just because I was in Star Wars, I, I know everything about it. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna stick around in town to go out to dinner or anything like that? Or you gotta go right home. No, I gotta go home. Gotta go right I have home. Gotta study. Test. Social study. Yeah. How are your grades? You doing pretty well? Yeah. Now don't, now, don't let this acting interfere with your grades, all right? I won't, Dave. All right. Well, <laughs> got a very bad attitude. So you don't know the answer? <laughs> well, I'd begin by saying that Sipho Diaz never worked directly with Jango Fett, and it was Darth Tyrannus who selected the Mandalorian bounty hunter after Sipho Diaz's murder. Right, I forgot that. I forgot about that. Okay. Four-way stop. Right. Okay. Who has the right-of-way? The four, first four, person, the first four, person gets to stop. Four cars waiting at a four-way stop. Who has the right-of-way? The first one to get to the stop. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And if you come at the same time, you have to give eye contact. No, <laughs> you don't have to give eye contact. You also forgot that Count Dooku, who later became Darth Tyrannus, murdered Sifu Diaz at the orders of Darth Sidious and then later presented his lightsaber to General Grievous. Never mind. <laughs> that up for you. I was just in Boston over the weekend. What were you doing up there? I was visiting some friends. It's so great. We went to, uh, we went to Harold's for ice cream. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Yeah. And, um, and we went to Pinocchio's for pizza. It was wonderful. Loved it. Ladies and gentlemen, please hold your applause until she's mentioned every establishment in Boston. But, uh, any other questions? Oh, yeah, you. Uh. <laughs> yeah, in episode three, when Obi-Wan is sent to Kashyyyk to find uh, General Grievous... Oh, uh, that's you... weird, because well... I don't remember Obi-Wan being sent to Kashyyyk to find General Grievous. I remember him being sent to Utapal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I could... I, mean, yeah. I don't know how, but somehow, on my three-point turn, yeah. I turned on, being the genius I am, the windshield wipers. <laughs> so I'm like... <laughs> I'm like horizontally blocking the street, you know, from front to end, and and um, <laughs> the windshield wipers are on. I don't. It's not my car, so I don't know how to. It's a driver's ed car, so I'm like, oh, 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 you know, like I didn't know what to do. Yeah. Uh, right. So when he, when he was sent to uh, Utapau, was it? <clears throat> and he sees Grievous talking to Lot Dodd. Excuse you... me, sir. I, I think you've got your Nemoidians mixed up. You're probably thinking about new gun rights. It's a pretty common mistake. But what's your question? I, uh, I do not have a question. The teachers asked me, you know, what does your dad do for a living? Yeah. So I said he helps women get pregnant. <laughs> and they called my mom and they're like, well, what exactly does your husband do? Yeah. <laughs> and... um, does anyone have a real Star Wars question? Yes, I believe I do. What is it? Yes, uh... So, uh, Star Wars, uh, what is that? 
You know what? Ha how about no more Star Wars questions, okay? And so the, the woman finally had to be like, this is how you, you, know, you turn it off. And I was like, oh, thank you. Yeah, but you know, you got to be thinking at uh, all times when stuff like that happens. You got to use your head because it's not your car. Exactly. And the windshield wipers come on. You, you look at the woman and say, what the hell is this? Faulty wiring? <laughs> how am I supposed to take the damn test when you got a problem with your circuit breakers? <laughs> exactly. But to be on the offensive. So they gave you the license anyway. Yeah, and also I... <laughs> yeah, yeah. You had to shave your head recently. Yeah, it was for my new movie, V for Vendetta. <laughs> so it, it wasn't for head lice? <laughs> no, no, it wasn't. I owe my daughter a big apology. <laughs> hey, anyone else?